So after um, working these problems out and recording so many, I, I just realized you guys owe me like some kind of lunch or something for this. Uh, anyway, I'm James. I'm a student. I am not a professor. So if the professor says I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay. Um, but according to the t uh, answer sheet, I, my answer is right. Uh, however, my methods may be incorrect. So take this with a grain of salt. At the very least, try to understand the concepts I explained here. Anyway, so we're gonna ex we're gonna order. Um, certain molecules according to decreasing bond angle. This is number 33 on the final, I believe. Yeah, uh, no, this is, yeah, 30, well, we'll just say it's 33 on the final. Um, I'm probably wrong. Actually, no, it's 31 on the final. Okay, so anyway, 31 on the final. So let's, or, or, let's order these according to increase, decreasing bond angle. So I should have my biggest to my smallest, not the other way around. Don't be tripped out. Okay, because I believe that answer is on here. No, it isn't. Okay, thank God. Anyway, the first one, let's see. This is V. Okay, so we have NO2 plus. All right, so in this case, um, I found out it was 180 degrees. But you know what you do? You start off with the Lewis structure. So let's draw out the Lewis structure. Of these two, okay, nitrogen is going to be my least electronegative. So that's going to be in the middle. I'm then going to have two terminal oxygens, okay? Now, if I work this out, I find out how many, okay, so here I have 12, that's 2 times 6, okay, because I have 6 per oxygen. I add the 5 for nitrogen, but then, keep in mind here, I have 17, I subtract 1 because I have a positive charge here. If you have a positive charge, you should subtract, okay? If I have plus two, I should subtract two. If I have a negative charge here, I'll add one, okay? So if it's negative, I'll add one. If it's negative two, I'll add two, okay? So because it's positive, I subtract one. I have 16 total valence electrons, okay? Now, I had single bonds here drawn up because it was O single bond and single bond O. So I took out, because I had two of those bonds, I took out four because it's four total electrons and two bonds and I have 12 total electrons that I place down. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I know this isn't the most conducive way to do it because I cross some of these out, but, but just realize that I started with six valence electrons, six valence electrons here, okay? So what happened is I had a single bond to the nitrogen here and a single bond to the nitrogen here. If I only have two single bonds onto the nitrogen, the octet rule for nitrogen is absolutely not fulfilled, okay? So what I did is I did a double bond here, double bond here, okay? And I I knew I had to do that because I want to get the the structure with the least um, with the, the the minimized formal charge. Okay, so I have a zero on oxygen, I have a zero on this oxygen, but then I have a plus one on nitrogen. Nothing you can do about that. Okay, so when you work this out, you have now two electron domains. That's going to be 180 degrees. Okay, you can tell. Well, actually, I know this because I know this. Okay, so I have two electron domains. I have no lone pairs. My electron domain geometry is going to be linear, but because I have no lone pairs, my molecular geometry will also be linear. So I know this is 180. To this one over here, this is silicon tetrachloride. Uh, I have silicon in the center. I put chloride, 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 chloride. So let's work out our valence electrons. We have 28 from the chloride. That's 7 times 4, okay, because so I have 7 per chloride, okay? I'll add 4 for the silicon because that's a group 4 element, okay? I get 32. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds. So I subtract 8 because there are 8 total electrons and 4 bonds, okay? And I get 24, okay? Now that means 6 for each one of these, okay? And silicon's nice and happy. It has its it has its octet already, so that's all nice and good. So this already is nice and finished. I know I have four electron domains, so that's a tetrahedral. Notice how I don't have any lone pairs here. So that, that means that my molecular geometry is also a tetrahedral. It, it'll actually officially look like this, okay? So you'll have one uh, chlori chloride, uh, chlorine here. <laughs> you'll have three chlorines on the bottom. The way I like to think of this is kind of like a tripod. Think of it like you have three legs on the bottom with this top part kind of sticking up vertically, okay? So that's how that works out. So you have 109.5 degrees, so I wrote that up here, okay? That should be degrees. Anyway, over here I have X is BF3, so that's boron trifluoride. Now, interesting thing is the boron and beryllium are the two that can actually break the octet rule, okay? Even though they're period two elements, they don't need to have an octet. Um, so 
Um, what I do is I put in the boron in the middle, once again, because this is the least electronegative. I have my three fluorines. I work out my valence electron, so I have 21 for the three fluorines, plus three for the boron. I get 24, subtract six from the three bonds, and I get 18 total valence electrons. It's six on each fluorine. But notice how I don't need to finish an octet for the boron. I can keep it like this. It'll be nice and happy. That means that, okay, well... I'm done. I have three electron domains, so it's trigonal planar. Do you see any lone pairs? I don't, so it's also going to have a molecular geometry, trigonal planar, and it's going to look like this. And this is kind of flat on there, okay, so it's 120 degrees, so 120, okay? So you can already see that V is going to be bigger than X, which is going to be bigger than W. So if you wanted to cross out some of these over here, go ahead, all right? You already know that D is wrong, E is wrong, and B is wrong. So now it's just between... A and C. Actually, you already you, you should kind of already know the answer. Um, but anyway, moving on. Y is NO2 negative. Uh, you should know that this is nitrite. Nitrite. Okay. So nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen. Keep in mind the term is oxidizing. Okay. So that's big. My big hint. Oxygen is really electronegative. The only one that's more electronegative is fluorine, as far as we know. Fluorine is a total douche when it comes to sharing electrons. I shouldn't have said that on the camera. Anyway, uh, here I have my nitrogen. I have two oxygens, okay? I, I drew these two structures for a reason, which is that nitrite will have resonance, okay? So let's just draw one of these resonance structures, okay? Because both of these will contribute equally to a resonance hybrid, which means that, you know, these, uh, you know, if we were to make the average of all of these, okay? that would be the best, all right? And these two will uh, contribute equally to that, okay? So notice how I have a negative charge here. So I have 12 from the two oxygens, six times two, plus five for the nitrogen. But then, you know, I have 17. I'll add one because I have a negative one charge, okay? So I have 18 total valence electrons. Two single bonds is what I started with, all right? So then I'll subtract four, and that's 14, okay? So I have 14 total electrons you need to play. So here's six, here's six. Well, it, it just... Pretend like we still have those two. We have two more on the top. So we have a lone pair on nitrogen, okay? Now, nitrogen didn't have its octet completed. It had one, two, three. Keep in mind, this wasn't a double bond when I did this. This was a single bond. So what I did is I did a double bond to this oxygen, okay? Now this uh, formal charge will be zero. This one over here will be zero. And this one here will be negative one, okay? So I have three electron domains here because I have one bond, two bonds, and a lone pair. Keep in mind that that is a double bond, but it's still one electron domain, okay? So I have a trigonal planar, all right, but because I have a lone pair there, that means that one of the, the arms of the trigonal planar is gone. So keep in mind like what this was. You have three arms, they're equally spaced with 120 degrees, but if I were to take away one of these and I were to put a lone pair there, well then you can imagine that this is a bent shape over here. You, you see that there used to be an arm here, but there isn't. The other thing though is that these lone pair electrons, they tend to hog quite a bit of space, and so they, they'll repel out these arms, okay, or, or, or arms. Anyway, so this would have been 120, but because these are pushing on both sides, like this, okay, it's kind of like, kind of like this, all right, if you, if you were to have this and it's closing it like this, all right, you have less than 120, less than 120, but not, not more than 109.5, so that's important too, not more than 109.5. Anyway, finally, uh, I have oxygen difluoride, okay, oxygen will go in the middle, two fluorides. I'll work out everything here. I have no charge, so I don't need to subtract for charge. So I have 20 total valence electrons. I'm going to subtract four for the two bonds, and I'm going to get 16. And what I have are two lone pairs on the oxygen, two bonds on oxygen. So oxygen does have its octet achieved, okay? So I know I have four electron domains, so that's going to be my tetrahedral, but I have two lone pairs on the oxygen, okay? That's a four electron domain with two lone pairs. Go check your notes because we have this, and that means we're going to have a bent, okay? Now, if you didn't check your notes, you could actually figure this out if you really wanted to. Originally, for, for a, you know, for a tetrahedral, we had this shape, but imagine we were to then cover up these two chlorines. Do you see how that's a bent shape right there? You're going to get that exact same thing. Now, all of these lone pairs are, again, going to be clasping this in, kind of like this again, right? Just like that. And it's going to be less than 109.5, okay? So if we were to take all of these together, V is 180, X is 120, Y is less than 120, uh, W is 109.5, Z is less than 109.5, um, that this will be the order. So the answer should be A for number 31, okay? That was really long.